welcome to BTU International. Uh, I'm joined by Paul Lancaster, and uh, we're here to talk about the Profile Guardian and, late, and the latest updates to uh, the BTU software systems. Uh, yeah, so we just released our new OneCon operating system, Trevor. Mm -hmm. um, it's released now on Windows 10, mm -hmm. um, and it does have the full integration of the Profile Guardian, which is our board traceability and oven redundant monitoring system. So, and with that, since it is an integrated solution, it is compatible with the variety of protocols for communicating to uh, various factory systems. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the future, we'll be deploying out the CFX. Um, currently, we're working on a lot of proprietary MES protocols for several of our key accounts. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's keeping us busy. Um, we're, we're seeing a lot more emphasis on building up the intelligence mm -hmm. of, of equipment in general, and that includes the furnace. Um, you know, customers are looking for a lot of data, real time. Um, they're looking for proactive ways of monitoring their process so they understand when, you know, if a process tends to drift, they can catch it before it starts to produce defects. Sure. So yeah, I mean, the earlier they catch it, the more money they're going to save. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially in a high volume environment where, you know, you do have a significant amount of whip, and if they're high value boards, then, you know, that in itself will save you a ton. You know, the ROI on that is very compelling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, really, you're, you're starting to build a lot more intelligence in, into the oven itself, rather than using external uh, uh, software systems to, to, to feed back to the oven. You're actually building it into the oven, and that's going to communicate with, as you say, the, the, the MES systems and the, and the, uh, the new softwares that are coming out there to, for line control, like, like CFX. Yeah, and, and it makes it makes more sense. You know, I think our customers, you know, they expect to deal with one supplier mm -hmm. uh, for the equipment. So this way, with uh, building the intelligence ourselves and deploying it, they have a single source for the oven. Um, they don't have to worry about integration or conflicts with third-party um, software. Mm -hmm. um, operators like it because it streamlines it. Um, they're dealing with just the operating system of of the furnace rather than two separate um, software platforms. Right. So how, how much of a learning curve did you have to go through at BTU into integrating these things with thermal profilers and this sort of thing? I mean, that's a, that's a new area in some ways for you. Yeah, it is a little bit. But, I mean, we have a lot of expertise in terms of, you know, thermal um, development of tools and things. So, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of peripheral to us, but, um, you know, our engineering team is... Uh, very uh, diverse, you know, we have our software guys located here at headquarters. You know, our Intellimax is our control system and that's fully designed and developed here in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't outsource any aspect of our software development, that's all controlled in-house. Okay. Uh, it's our same platform that we use across our entire product line, including our belt furnace business. So, uh, we do have a lot of in-house expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more a function of just making sure from a product management standpoint that we focus them on those things that are, are essential for maintaining our advantages. Right, right, and it makes it more, uh, it makes it more simple for if you need to do any, any tweaks or, or have to make it work with other types of software, et cetera. Any, any last minute changes, you've, you've got your own team on hand. You're not sort of waiting on a third party. Yeah, and it gives us the ability to respond quickly to customer requests or if there is something that needs to be tweaked on the fly, then we could do it very efficiently that way. Does, does Windows 10 actually bring uh, any more additional capability to you uh, from the Windows 7 platform? Uh, from the WinCon perspective, um, now it doesn't really affect us as much. Um, where it does have an impact is definitely corporate IT um, departments. You know, they're going to be demanding Windows 10 as right. Windows 7 becomes non-supported. Mm -hmm. um, so just going to Windows 10 from that perspective was critical. And um, obviously, we have to go through a rigorous testing process because um, you know there is interconnectivity issues sometimes with our our GUI and the Windows operating system, but uh, we've just released that um, this last month and it's been deployed now for several systems. So what about machines that are in the field that are currently Windows 7? Uh, is there an upgrade path for them or how does that work? Yeah, we do have an upgrade path for all our customers. Even customers operating on Windows XP, mm -hmm. uh, we have an upgrade path to the new control unit if needed, the Intellimax 2, as well as Windows 10. So we do have like set packages for customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we can do a full update on both the control system, Intellimax, as well as Windows 10. Right. Okay. And just a, a fi final question. Um, I, yeah, I know that the, the industry is really busy at the moment. Uh, some people have got extremely long lead times. Uh, how's the, how's, how are the lead times in manufacturing looking at BTU? Um, they're looking comparable to, to I think, our, our clients or peers, let's say, in the industry. I mean, they were 
you know, our lead times are challenging there for a while, um, but we were able to ramp capacity efficiently. Um, that's not something you can do overnight, of course, and it does take time. Uh, but you know, it's just also communicating to our customers and letting them know realistically about timelines. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think if there are no surprises, then customers are generally accepting a, a little bit longer lead times because they're seeing it across the industry. But from BT's point of view, our lead times are, you know, within range of where they typically are now. Mm -hmm. um, we're able to kind of maintain that high level capacity at both factories. Right. Um, both our factories were at peak capacity now, have been for the last year. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're able to manage it efficiently. Great, great. Well, great to see you doing so well and yeah. uh, con continuing to do uh, to uh, develop the the product and uh, make the, make the oven more intelligent. All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us.